welcome to episode 45 of Trusty Hogs. We are coming to you from the Edinburgh Fringe. Helen's in a grump because I clapped for the camera before she got to. <laughs> it's not fair. It's like when you're standing at a traffic light and you're like, it's my turn to press the button. You clapped last time. Yeah, but I'm a good clapper. <laughs> what was wrong with my clap? No, it was really good. Thank you. Welcome to episode 45 of Trusty Hogs. The My name's Helen like, oh. Bauer. This is Catherine Bohart. We're going to talk about our amazing lives, how we thrive, how we move, how we travel, how we live. And then we're going to solve your problems with our amazing guest, Reese Nicholson. Through the fog, step for the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're going to give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they your problem they'll have guests and andrew white on the tech oh it's helen and catherine as the trusty hogs trust the trusty hogs or maybe not oh my gosh reese is so cool they're a judge on drag race down under they were in montreal when i was in montreal so we'll wait to talk about montreal with them we'll say that although Ooh. helen you've got a gift for me well obviously because you did what I asked you for a gift. And then text me several times making sure I'd gotten you a gift. Well, I don't want to like... that. Right, okay, come on, let's come be on. reasonable Look, here. Okay, here's what I know about you, Helen, is that, um, first of all, you're the only Gifty. person I know who likes magnets. Second of all, having spoken to you about your trips away, you actually do more cultural stuff than I expected. Thank you. So I brought you two fundamental pieces of Canadian culture. Oh my God, okay, go. The first is in magnet form. As you all have always made the effort for Andrew and I to buy what I can only describe as the ugliest fridge magnets I've ever seen, I endeavoured. Andrew to likes them. I endeavoured to do the same for you. Oh my god, I love <laughs> it! Oh my god. Okay, it's a fridge magnet of a hockey player, an ice hockey player, yes. and it says Canada. Isn't it hideous? Oh my god, I love it. It's I'll put hideous. it on my Instagram. Hold on to that camera. I don't know if they no, can no, see. Camera, oh, this yeah. one up here. Okay. But I, I'll put it on my Instagram. Really it's so bad. beautiful. Really oh my god, Sunil's gonna. Oh my god, seven dollars ninety nine. Oh, can I'm you sorry. tell me how much that is in pounds? Seven oh Canadian god. dollars ninety nine. Just so I know. Oh, and it's proper Canadian because it's made in China. Yay! Uh, five pounds thirteen. Five pounds thirteen. Not That's bad. Quite a lot for a magnet. Yeah. I actually bought you something else as well. <laughs> uh, these I saw in the airport. I, and I was it. like, I can't not get them. They are Canadian moose droppings. They're no. They're chocolate covered almonds, but they're called Canadian moose droppings. And I thought they were no. so funny. Do you like? Oh my god! I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I assume yes. There's no way I won't like this. They're funny, right? And it's like poo. Yeah, the bit is that they're poo. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Do you remember that thing that was like going around at Christmas time for like a couple of years where you'd get like a reindeer and you pushed it down and a jelly bean popped out of his ass and it was like no, a little brown what? jelly bean. No. All the cool kids had it. Brown jelly beans? Is there a brown jelly bean? It was when chocolate was like having a boom. Okay. Do you remember when like Woolworths was selling, rest in peace, when Woolworths the shop <laughs> was selling a thing called chocolate mousse and it was a is a cuddly toy of a mousse that smelled like chocolate emma black had one it was amazing oh wow i did not know that oh my god are they okay I might need they are no no you keep them <gasps> they're really good you promise? how much were they none of your business jesus oh my god and it's actually from canada yeah and it's in french yeah amanda's au chocolat au lait <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> happy? I'm really happy. I love them both. That was so easy. I'm so glad. Okay, good. This is amazing. Happy Canada Day to you. Is it today? No. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be also, amazing. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Probably not. Catherine, I love it so much. I do good. I can't wait for us to talk about your um, Montreal experience with race. It was something. But I'm proud of you for doing it. Yes. Thank you. Anyone who follows Catherine on Twitter and Instagram <laughs> knows Catherine had a rocky ride. <laughs> Did she lean into the drama and enjoy it on some level? I think yes. Oh my God. You're not wrong. As a friend, okay. was I supportive? Mm, a bit. <laughs> you sent me those memes. There we go. Oh yeah, I sent you cute little animals. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Which was almost as good as talking to me. It's the hey. only thing that can help a situation <laughs> is did you want to talk to me or did you want that little fat seal? I liked the seal. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a seal. seal of approval. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. you loved that. Look at your I liked happy it fine. Face. It was fine. Oh my God. Because I want to go to Canada one year 
I hope you will. You will. I hope I get to go. You will. But then um, I want to go with you. I'd like that too. Because then you can show me around. Yeah, and I can get us a table à l'extérieur. And I can get us a table à l'intérieur. Okay, is that a table inside or outside? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I learned so much Je French. Je parle française. Mm, beautifully <laughs> so. Do I actually? Yes, yeah, stunning. I think it's all right. My French is like, Makes sense. Um, I can do the whole like, bonjour, ça va, ça va bien, merci, et toi? I can do the okay. je voudrais un crepe. And I can do the national anthem. I can't see what else you'd need. A lose a phone. No, 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 we don't need to do it. I don't need to do it. I'm genuinely impressed. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah try me I might have made it up. <laughs> it's definitely worth checking. We'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you. Come on. Oh, oh merci. Oh, très bien. Très bien. Très bien. Très bien. Look at you, so much. Actually, I'm surprising myself right now. Yeah, very good at French. Now um, let's do Urdu. Mosam no, 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 Hana. What? Hey. Why do you know Urdu? Because <laughs> when I worked in accessories, when I was like 18. That's not a logical conclusion. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I worked in accessories when I was 18 on Oxford Street, and um, one of my best friends there was a security guard called Nurman, and he taught me Urdu. Ha. Huh. Wow. Which means yes. Okay, wow. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh-huh. Are, you shukriya, sure? shukriya. Are you sure it means yes or it's just not something men say when you speak? No, ha. it's right. It's right. Ha. He taught me. It was really sweet. Ha. 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 Gotcha. It means okay. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, I don't know. Um, I'm Helen. I'm feeling very smart right now. Uh, well, you have a massive revelation that we're saving for the patrons, but honestly, I have so, I'm so excited to ask about it that I really have to resist the urge. So instead, I'm going to tell you that I've begun training for a half marathon. I know you'll hate this chat. No, I'm, I'm actually I know you'll hate it. Okay, fine. You and Chloe Petz. Myself and Chloe Petz. Honestly, I agreed to it ages ago when I was running more often and when, frankly, I felt better about my life choices. And I was like, <laughs> yes, I can do this. And then Chloe has given me no wiggle room to get out of it, yeah. by the way. Like, it's absolutely fully in. Yeah. Runs all the time. Mm-hmm. And so I went for my first, like, training run with them. We're, we're going to do a long one every week here in Edinburgh. And, um, <sighs> bloody hell, I was... It's so annoying because I used to be a much better runner. And I'll pick it up again. It won't take long. But fucking hell, I hate, hate, hate being the worst at something. And I really was just, like, trodden along behind them. But you're, like... And their legs are the- a lot longer than mine. It's important to stress. Yeah, but there's also more to lift. Well, because they're taller, yeah. Fair. Yeah, so whenever someone goes like, oh, it's really hard to walk with you because you, you take longer steps. And it's like, yeah, but I'm lifting a lot more than you are. So it all balances out in the end. Okay, fine. I was just slower than Chloe Pets and I didn't like it. You're not very fit or good at running. Say it. <laughs> just <laughs> say it. I'm not fit and I'm not good at running. I mean, I ran the five miles. Say I'm not fit and I'm, I'm not, not good at running. I'm not fit and I'm not as good at running as I was. But we You're did a just... fucking failure. But we did... <laughs> we did five miles. It was fine. Would it help? for your self-esteem if I came on the run. No, it's fine. I'm just so hay fevery as well. I'm so loud as well. Like I'm behind like. <laughs> Don't. I got to a gig at Edinburgh last night, the best of the fest on the mound. Yeah. And I was like walking there and I was like fucking sweaty already. It's so yeah, hard to come out of a show. It's this entire really city seems to go uphill. It's insane. And I arrived at the venue and the show had already started. I was still on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. And um, I got there and I was like, where is it? And I was like, don't you fucking tell me it's up those steps. <laughs> it is, and it was it this always lovely 18 year old girl who was like, you've just got to go up. You, um, <laughs> you do have to go up. And you could tell she was like looking at my body for a mobility issue, <laughs> like trying to figure out whether she needed to get someone to help me. And I was like, look, I smoke. I'm obese. I'm, I'm, I've just had a kebab. Like, you can't do this to me. I like how you lean on the O of obese. I've never heard it pronounced that way. Obese. Obese. What is it? obese. Is it obese? No, it's obese. But <laughs> it's obese. No, no, it's not obese. I don't, I don't. <laughs> no, it's not obese, nor is it. But it, but and, and ob- I, I would say obese, but it's just the way you say it is like obese. I'm obese. I'm obese. I'm like, not obese. Exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm obese. <laughs> Could that be a thing? <laughs> I loved it. It was Is that what it's based off, the word obese? Is it based off beast? No, no, no there's no T in it or A. I think that's worth searching the origin of the no, word. No, I don't think we should. I that think would it's be worth fucking searching. If, it, if that is, that's fucking wild, but it's not that. So stop that it. That would be amazing. Etymology of obese, please, Andrew. Coming right up. Um, What's etymology? Okay. The uh, origin it, of a origin word. Origin of a word. Um, it comes from a, the Latin adere to eat. Um, and then ob meaning uh, completely. So to have completely eaten obese. <laughs> 
them. I didn't know that. I love that. She eats, she eats completely. completely. <laughs> she eats completely. She finished it. She did a great she finishes job. It all. I love that. That's, That's quite fun. incredible. That's quite good. I like that. Oh, from now on, when people say like, "Oh, do you what word do you use to describe your body?" I'd be like, "To have completely eaten." Yes. <laughs> to have finished food. <laughs> she's a finisher. No one she, can say she's I not. I am a finisher. I am so good at finishing I'm stuff. Gonna call, I'm going to refer to you as complete. Yeah. She's mind, complete. body, soul. Mind, body, soul. She's complete. I'm at my highest intellectual level I'll ever get to. Um, so What's what else can we talk about? <laughs> entomology is the study of insects. Etymology. Yes, thank you, Andrew. For. Didn't want to. Oh, f- fuck <laughs> off. How about we all just fuck off for a second? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm listening to you. I know we I don't I keep recommending podcasts on our own podcast, but I just listen to a really good podcast. What one? It's called The Baron of Botox. And it's Here we go. Really fascinating. Who's the Baron of Botox? It's about a man who like basically started so the celebrity trend of specific facial treatments. But it's also about Like a the, German like, man. Uh, no, an American man. But it's also about like uh I guess it's about a study of beauty where it comes from what what we think of it why we think of it how it changes and also like whether or not plastic surgery and and acts like that are are oppressive and it's really made me think i'm really enjoying it i remember reading the beauty myth yeah and it's sort of like that sort of idea of sort of like are we being kept like it's sort of like there's so many different angles on beauty for women as far as standards go. Because like yeah. part of it is like, is it trying to keep us like poorer? Because we've got so much more money we've yep. got to put into this yep. like industry. Like, is it like how much placebo effect is it that if I have this, I will be better, I will be more confident, which is the one part that I really fully understand. Because I remember even from the age of like 11 being like, if I don't have this Miss Sporty eyeshadow, yeah. I am fucking nothing. Oh my God. there's these, And also there's like really fascinating theories. So like one was that um, there's like a, a happiness to like there's a happiness theory about Botox which is that like if you've limited your facial movements to a degree you can't make such expressively sad emotions and so when you look in your face at your face and it's not sullen you tend to feel happier consequently what? To the but then there was a counterpoint which was like nah this is entirely oppressive of women's emotions so you suppress women's emotions and cons- because consequently they're what like I know but so- more of that please female emotions are fucking <laughs> mad I'm I sorry know, it's just, it, my point is it's just fascinating and it really made me think about things that I hadn't thought about before and it was just like an interesting insight that's really interesting i think when you said baron of botox i was thinking like a german baron no and sort of like you know like in chitty chitty bang bang you know the the baron of the castle where the child catcher keeps all the kids in the basement i don't think i've seen that and film they in say, like you're years. my little coochie face <laughs> and you're my teddy bear. if a person doing my botox did that to me i'd be so happy i'd be like <laughs> yes i am yes i am and put the needle in the <laughs> and ochi, 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 i love it i love That's it so cute yes no? please why doesn't my doctor do that doctor you and sing to me i'll come and sing please? i'll come oh, to yes. the procedure oh my god that'd be so nice that'd honestly so it was nice. so weird i was talking about Botox the other day. Are you holding your titties right now? Yeah, because, so obviously in last week's episode, before we come up to Fringe, Stop I- Stop pushing them together, it's distracting, I can't listen to okay. you. Sorry. I said <laughs> that I was going to be having a boiled egg Oh my, my God, bra this is incredible. Every day for Fringe. I have done it. One it's day it so was disgusting. off. It's it so disgusting. It definitely was off. But you do what you do, you move. But it's also meant that like, it, the, the, right, I'm on stage, I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm wet under my boobs yeah. within like 30 minutes and of the warm. show. But I'm also like half like cooking an egg. I did think about what you said, Andrew, about the parboiling. It's just too much of a risk. It's just the risk of the yolk. That's it's... fucking gross. Why won't you think about what I said, which was cling film? But I've had loads of weird advice from you about what I'm wearing on stage. Because on the first day of Edinburgh, I ripped my dress at the arsehole. And like, you know... You weren't thinking that was a good move. It was on a purpose. What's that face for? What weird advice have I given you other than like maybe cover- Get another dress. Don't just wear the same one every day. If if you Wash don't it. if you don't want people to see your asshole, yeah. I but I want them to. Okay, fine. It's a rip from the universe. But now it works <laughs> in the show. Now it does. I didn't know that you'd already written lines for it. And, but then we were saying like, oh, like how do we get these boobs to be a bit drier? And then someone suggested Botox, and I was like, that is actually an option. You can Botox your tits so that they're not so sweat 
um, sweaty. But you're not going to do that so as to keep an egg dry. Why won't you just use cling film? But I just don't think maybe this could be my new thing. Like, I'll be the egg girl. Like, even when this show's over, no. I might just always walk around with an egg in my no, tits. No, I please don't. And become the I egg beg girl. You not and to. then my fucking venue staff at fucking Pleasant, yeah. shout out to like Lorna and the crew. But <laughs> after my first show there, and I bonded with them really well, right? I went to tech and I was like, Guys, I know exactly what's happening here because I was at Tech for Pleasants like in 2009. <laughs> so it's like, okay, we're on the same page. We're all in love with each other. And then did my first show. Really nice crowd. Went really well. I was yeah. excited to do my second show, the yeah. one that you came to. I loved it. And um, they so came up much. to me before the show and they went, we've got a problem. And I was like, oh, here we bloody go. What's happened? Too many people want to get in again. And um, they said they had a discussion <laughs> the night before because they thought there was a leakage in the drain. <laughs> so they went through the prop room and they figured out it was my back. <laughs> because I had another boiled egg in there that I hadn't used yet. You're keeping them in this... You're keeping- I was! I was, I was keeping one, but it's like half covered. It's sort of, it's okay. Helen, in a you're bag with Helen, shoes. Helen, oh Helen. And they were like, you can't keep a boiled egg. Helen, one, obviously two. Are you not keeping them in the fucking fridge? Well, I mean, it- You eat these. Well, I, you eat the, you yeah, bite into something. Yeah, it's protein. You ha- you must refrigerate cooked yeah, eggs. Yeah, that's what they said as well. Yeah, that's weird that you thought that too. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel think that? sick. I feel sick. Why have you said that? That makes me feel nauseous. What are you thinking? So I was just thinking like, oh, I'll oh. keep a boiled egg at the venue for you know when you need a boiled egg. And um, but then it turns out like those venues are notoriously hot. Yeah, really hot, really hot. Yeah. What's wrong with you? But chickens, you know, chickens live in like Africa and hot places, you know, where eggs get really hot. They're not keeping cooked boiled eggs inside of themselves. No, they're not, I suppose, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> but do you, um, either way, now I don't keep an egg at the venue. I actually did leave one night yesterday. No, <laughs> Helen! <laughs> but I think I covered it better. So I think why like... are you Why are you carrying more than the one you need? Just in cases. Just I in case sick. I don't find an egg before my show starts. I feel sick. You're disgusting. I'm not disgusting. You are. You're disgusting. Oh my god, no. You're disgusting. But it's just, it's only me eating You're a egg. gross, dirty girl. Other people have to use that venue and that changing room. The staff, the children who are underpaid as it is there, have to come and tell you, please not to stink out their workplace. It's a shame because we were really getting on. And now they're like, here comes the egg girl. <laughs> oh. Before that, they'll be like, no, she was here. Like, what? It's just amazing how quickly I go from thinking I'm their favourite to being their problem. You know? Like, I was like, these guys love me. <laughs> We're in a troop together. And then all of a sudden, they're like, right, you smell like a drain. <laughs> I'm very unhappy. Shall we bring on our guest? I think we should. I feel like I'm really upset. You. I don't feel well. Oh, do you want a moose dropping? No, I don't want a poo-related food right now. Okay, let's talk about how you thrived at Monday. Montreal with Reese Nicholson. Thank you so much. We have some new executive producers. No, we oh don't. My, yeah, we do. Thank you so much to Guy Goodman, Simon Moores, Janina Bautista, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Harke Deacon, and Oliver Jago. Welcome to the Sty. So nice of you. Oh my God, we really are so grateful. I read the producers. Yeah. I read the producers. Hey guys, you're so good. Okay, producers, coming at you thick and fast. We're fucking grateful as shit. Richard Bicknell, Earl, Richard Bold, Neil Redman, Victoria Hutchinson, Emma Walton, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke, who came to my show. Fucking, this is so and weird. so good. Tim and Dom came as well. Kira Same. Leach in America. Fair play to Kira. David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Joe Holmes, Sarah and Molly, Alex Pugh, Josie W, and and Amy. Thank you all so much. Have You're so it. good to us. They're just the best. They're the best. Thank the you. Best. If you haven't joined our producers list, get on it. What are you waiting for? There's so many benefits. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Here we go. Hello, Reese Nicholson's Hello. here. It's Reese Nicholson Hi. with the coolest men from French Canada. Yeah. Yes, because we were in Montreal together. And wasn't it much more French than you were expecting? <laughs> oh my God, they lead with the French in attitude as much as language. I don't know if you've been to Montreal, but those people are rude. Right, so talk me through this. You arrive in Montreal, 
Biggest gigs of your lives. Super excited. Whoa. Well, I'm going to stop you there. No, is it not? It is, I, isn't I'm it? I'm going to stop you there. First of all, I tried to arrive in Montreal. I got to the airport, was randomly allocated standby. Yeah. Then had to queue for eight <laughs> hours. In a, in a, I, didn't get in the, I didn't get on the plane. So then I queued for two hours there. Didn't get on the plane. Then, did you not know this? No. no it's yeah, so it, funny. You weren't on the listen. No, I did say. And no, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't. No, we, actually, in fact, whenever we were together, we were just complimenting each other's yeah. outfits. Um. And then I w- had to wait in a queue to change my flight yeah. for six hours. And then I yeah. got on the next flight. So I was on my feet. for. And then when I arrived in Canada, I'd been awake for 23 hours. And then they had forgotten my luggage. Oh, Yay! no. I would say you made that dress work very well for a full week. <laughs> that one no, dress. <laughs> it's like that episode of The Simpsons where Marge just has to redo the same thing over and over. <laughs> and I always, I always feel for Europeans because, and I know, look, let's not talk about it, but um, <laughs> the, because in Australia we're used to to everything taking a very long time to get everywhere. Whereas oh, of course. <laughs> Europeans, as soon as they're like, and I had to wait for an hour, or like not wait, but like travel anywhere, yeah. like everywhere, everywhere for us is at least three and a half hours. Do you so know I, I feel I very. F- well, no, do you know how big our country is like the yeah, size you have of to America? Fly across yeah. It. So it's like, not the size, it's like the size of Texas, isn't it? No, no, it's no, the size no, of it's America. It's huge. Why? We just, just have no one there. Yeah, I was going to say, there's just loads of it that doesn't have people on Oh, the, yeah. the um, Cuba PD. Yes, so close. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the people that the, the desert and then they've got the flies everywhere and the opal farms. <laughs> <laughs> they do know, I know. I've watched you know in hotel. A pretty incredible boil down of all Australia. That is kind of like, yeah, yeah, and like the people and opals. <laughs> Oh, we are. I would say we are the only people kind of um, really <laughs> championing opals. Something I, I would say the ugliest stone in the world. Yeah, not great. Not. Great. Have you heard of granite? Yeah, no, oh. but like, you, well, you can but make, that looks nice on a kitchen bench. I was going to say, you can do a countertop. Even an opal bench would be like, oh boy. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to take this very personally because my dad once went on a trip. He works in sewage and he went to a se- visit a sewage farm in Australia. Mm, and he came back and it was like the first time he ever brought me a gift and it was an opal. And you think that's an ugly stone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I, sta- I stand by it. I would oh say he God. scraped it from the bottom of the sewage plant. <laughs> Shout out to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Um, yes, yeah, so then we were in Canada. And I wouldn't say they were the biggest gigs of our lives because actually what you do is like perform to groups of people and you maybe there's industry in. Are they watching? Who's to say? Uh, but I think it's the most stressful gig. It's very stressful. Very stressful. But uh, the one my, that I was there, the big one for mm. my trip yeah, that yeah, I'd yeah. gone oh, for was oh, the, oh, the yeah. thing I was there for that they were going to film, that I picked out a cute <laughs> outfit for, that we'd practice the set for, that we had to send our set in advance for, was going to be very exciting in a room full of 800 people. Here we go. Four minutes to go on. Reese is hosting. <laughs> And then this sound comes on and Reese starts dancing because it's like, woo, We're starting. Woo, 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 We're starting. Woo, 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 oh, yeah, I really woo, did. Woo, 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 you danced. Right. You turns, danced. Out, turns out that is the Canadian fire alarm. <laughs> Which, I, very danceable. Yeah, it's got some real traction in it. It was like um, a house fire, but like house music yeah, fire. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And then we were like, lol, this will be a drill, but not a great time. You're going to unnerve the audience. And then the, the people who work there are like, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> but you still, I think we were still even, so we're like backstage in a very nice theatre. Little, Like, I think I had literally just made a joke as well. Like, I reckon we cancel the show. Yeah. Just like yeah. Funny, everyone, everyone very always funny, makes a good. little joke. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. walk out and you tell everyone, look, it's a real bad audience out there. I think we just cancel it. Yeah. yeah. When in fact it was a very nice audience and we shouldn't have cancelled. But you, yeah. it's the banter, it's the banter. It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. having fun. I'd have laughed. The yeah. worst part is like I, Reese James was saying, and it's so true. Like, which gig have you ever done where you haven't slightly wished there would be a fire before? Yo. You know what I mean? Or like mm-hmm. you had a minor accident. But like, talk to me about this fire because I feel like fire is used very loosely. Oh, we start Do to go down I mean? the stairs, and there is black water coming out from under doors as we try to get past. Yeah, no, water's not fire. That's the opposite. No, 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 like it was in, black water. It was black sludge. It was like, like an you know, like horror movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> also you can smell the smoke, and also and you get outside, and there are three fire brigades. Oh my God, do people yeah. die? So I'm Nobody dancing died, to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> But oh here's the God. thing is, do you remember what the Canadians were like outside? Soutelo. Rude? No, well, I don't know. No, there was like one in- less French and more Canadian woman mm. who just kept making the most earnest announcements. So like, oh, every, yeah. do you remember? Yes. So like every 20 minutes she would be like, it has been a privilege to guide you through this process. Oh, Thank God. you so much for hanging in there. I just cannot tell you how much we value you being here, waiting <gasps> you- for this, attempting to stick with us. And you'd be like, 
we're just standing on the side yeah. drinking. But like, you know what? It worked. Like, I really did. was like, we are the real star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for her. She kept telling us how good we all looked and all yeah. the acts no. were like, you're so right, we do. My agent, bless her, mm. and your husband immediately, uh, fiance, immediately went and bought booze. Yeah. So that really helped. Hannah was pouring out Prosecco. Kyron was handing the, out beers. That it, was, I would say though, that was a, a move on your agent because my Ky- cat, and my agent and Kyra and my partner went into a, a booze shop. Like that's as Australians, we just spotted a booze shop and we're like, "Well, we're not going into that show. Let's get drunk." Yeah, we we didn't look properly and just kind of got some like seltzers and beers. Your <laughs> bougie agent <laughs> wanders in, just picks up four bottles of prosecco and walks Stop! out. Oh like, shit! Yeah, Wait, she, but do you know fancy. by this point the gig is 100% not happening that evening? No, but you need to understand, Helen, at this point, I'd travelled for, like, ever to get to somewhere without my case. I'd be wearing the same clothes for multiple days. I know, you were really ever- sad on the phone. We'd been through hair. <laughs> <laughs> We'd been through hair. She her- was so sad and it was so funny. Because be- <laughs> it's like, what's going to happen? Do you know what I mean? There's nothing we can do. You've got no clothes. We'd like- been through hair and makeup and then the building goes on fire. I didn't really care if we were getting back in or not. I was like, give me the alcohol, please. That sounds like a book title. We've been through hair and makeup and now the is on fire. <laughs> is absolutely an autobiography. Oh my God. It's, it's like, like one Joan- of those ones that like Posh Spice was releasing when she was in her transitionary period. Yes. 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 And then um, and then Jimmy Carr let me on his gig, to be fair, which was nice because our, our, when our building built, burned down, he was like, the British acts can come and do. Uh, and then all of a sudden I was like, I'm not Irish, I'll come. Um, <laughs> so no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but just the British acts. No, he like he, well, he didn't have space for everybody. So he <laughs> let the ones he knew on, which was very nice. That's nice. Um, and did a gig with... Neil Brennan, Tommy Tiernan, Jimmy Carr, and fucking Mark Marin stood on the side of the stage. And like, it felt like Dragon's Den. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't even know if the gig went well. I just spent the whole time being like, huh, Papa? Is that right, Papa? It was so stressful. Did you talk to people though? Did both of you talk to the famous people, the proper famous people, not your level famous people, the intense famous people? Yeah, there were, I did a few gigs. Like, this is the weird thing about the festival is that you end up being, because you got a run in, like we did a run in set. Like where you for your galas and stuff like that, yeah. and like Pete Holmes. Wait, what's the running set? Like, like you, a practice set, like a like a warm up set at a different gig, like mm-hmm, at a, mm-hmm. in a, in a before club. like a televised, like you know, because the galas are kind of like um, they're the size of Live at the Apollo, like that type yeah. of level. <laughs> and so you are like I did the Mark Maron gala, and so you kind of oh on a God. weird gig back, and you it, it's the strangest mix of people. Yeah, like Pete Holmes, and then you'll just be Jesus. walking down the street. My weirdest spotting, and you see her around this festival as well, like in Edinburgh, was like Caroline Ray. Oh, she was <gasps> everywhere. She was everywhere. I could Aunt not get Hilda a Hilda from. I couldn't get. A, I couldn't get a lift without seeing her. I was like, oh my god. And she said, well, because she was driving the car, but she sounds <laughs> exactly I like meant elevator. You're so Australian. Yeah, Go oh, on. Right, yeah. No. Oh yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> the, or you're just Irish. Yeah. Um, good. Really good. She said thank <laughs> That was really good. That was a lovely comeback, that. Or you're just Irish and just, yeah. I'm sorry, it's early. Uh, Don't mind her. Go on. Um, but she sounds exactly like Caroline Ray. You know, like, you, 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 like she sounds like someone doing an impression of Cala- Caroline She really Ray. does. For anyone she who doesn't really know Caroline Ray is, you do. She is from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. And That's, she's an amazing stand-up. She's and like an amazing really stand-up. really good. Really fucking good. That kind of, je- like, it's that thing. I think it used to happen a lot in the 90s where um, good alternative comedians would just get a job on a sitcom and that, and so you only like you know Kathy Griffin is a weird example yes, of that, yes, or yes. all those all those kind of like Spin City people. Yeah. And so you only know them for that, but yeah, she's a really good comedian. Very good. Oh um, so it was good. Good I save everyone because I made a mean joke about Caroline Ray and we fixed it. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, and, and nice. also really quickly, sure did listening. you did you meet her though? Did you like talk. meet Sabrina's? Yeah, aunt? met yeah. her and. She was very nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, so cool. Do you know, I think the Americans are very good at being met as famous people. And by that, I mean, like, I, there was one time where we were waiting to film in the smaller venue. And mm. I was, I, I saw that Fortune Feimster, 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 Feimster. Feimster. Okay, was in the next room, and so for Chan, weirdly, and so <laughs> <laughs> and so was Nicole Byer, <gasps> and I adore yeah. both like so much. And in both cases, I was just like, "Fuck it, when the hell am I ever going to be in a corridor with these people again?" Yeah. So I went in, and I just said, "Hey, sorry to interrupt. 
I'm a big fan. I'm doing the show next, and I just wanted to say hello. And um, I would never usually good do that, for like, you. Um, and both of them because Americans are like, if you meet a famous British person, they're like, oh god, sorry, no, sorry, did I, sorry, did I introduce myself to you? Should I, do you want me to take a photo of you? This is crazy. I'm sorry, no, no, I'm sorry for bothering you. And you're like, no, my approach to you. And with Americans, they're like. Of course you'll want to meet yeah. me. Do you want to get a photo? <laughs> yes. Like the, I've been Come asked on. by American comedians if I want to get a photo. Me too. Them. <laughs> and every time I'm like, oh, yes, please. Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> okay, yeah, I actually probably do. But they're just so lovely. And Nicole Byer in particular was so nice. <laughs> oh my God. I God. Think, so nice to me. I think, and those are two particular people. I know Fortune a little bit. And both both her and I, I don't know <gasps> Nicole Byer at all. But like to be, I, they're, they're almost like shocked. That it's going so well, like really? you know, you know, That's well, mad. like, but not, but as in, like, they know that they're good and everything. But uh, you know, I think we're co- also that festival, and this is gonna make me sound like such a douche, but that festival because we're all there, we've all been picked to be there, so there is this kind of understanding of no one's shit. Yeah, like yeah. so, you can talk to someone, and you're not gonna be like, oh, are they gonna try and get a gig out of me? Like it's yeah. not, it's not like oh, Edinburgh. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> It's not like Edinburgh. Speaking <laughs> of, we're at the bloody Edinburgh Festival. How's it going? Wee! Wee! No, it is, it is. We're only, what are we, four or five days in? No, don't say that. We surely have been here 10 days. Yeah. I've been have here we, a full week. Have we been here? Mm. How many days? Mm. Oh, God, I started five. on Thursday. It's only Monday, for fuck's sake. But I would say there is a ju- like nothing like a global health crisis to really make people <laughs> want to... Like, Appreciate People it. are kind of really into it. Yeah, that's true. The, fa- the like the audiences are lovely. I and think the audiences are lovely. I think there's a kindness amongst the comics that started to go towards the end of it. Yeah, like people are a bit fair. more gentle with each other than I remember them being. That's fair. I well, you say that. I like I showed up at Helen's door the other day just to give her some flowers, and your entire sorry what. What? Thank you. <laughs> That's what Thank you. We were like freaking out. Like, what's Helen done? Is she sick? Like, what's Catherine doing to get out of her? I would have thought I'd turned into a ghost or what? something. No, this and this was like... <laughs> This is what I mean, though. My friends thought we had a fight, and she was, like, coming round to bring me a gift. Okay, She's so not going to be the one to bring the flowers in that situation. <laughs> yes, no. I wouldn't <laughs> fucking bring them. I'm not bringing them. No, she she apologises like Tracy Beaker, who I don't know if you have that reference point, but she'll come in. Just, I know the name. Yeah, she'll just come in and be like, sorry! Oh, yeah. And then you have to either accept or... It's just, from my heart. Sorry, I can tell. No, but that's my... My point was going to be that her flat of comedians reacted like you did, which was like... Is she dying? Why? Why are you being weird? And I was like, so we're being fragile, but are being kind to each other, but not so kind that we don't find like actual earnestness to be discussed. Well, it's the fact, well, it was, right, okay. Good, good gossip to go around the festival, though. That you've got like a terminal illness and everyone should come. <laughs> she would love that, don't even. Yeah, she yeah. would love it. <laughs> don't you, even. If you would, if don't you think I haven't out. thought about that before, but you ha- if you have a terminal illness, it always goes hand in hand with extreme weight loss, and I'm not willing to do the second part. What about, <laughs> no, there are other ones. There are ones that, that Which happen. ones? Which ones? Help me then. Secret ones. Ones there are hide. wheelchair ones. You could do wheelchair yeah, ones. Yeah. Wheelchair, wheelchair ones. Wheelchair <laughs> ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're not terminal illnesses. But imagine sticking up at like. I could just some- see M being like, have to edit that. Out. No, you don't. <laughs> Say you get diagnosed with something halfway through the fringe. You know how people put up their stars or like reviews on a poster, just yeah. popping up like bowel what? cancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like what? one last time. <laughs> This show must close. <laughs> oh my god, that would so get people in. <laughs> You're right. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Okay, don't don't release this part of the episode. Oh, otherwise it'll ruin this part it of the episode it isn't happens. being released. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be amazing. Helen Bauer in Madam Good Kit one last time, and then in brackets, bowel cancer. Yeah. One last oh. time without feeling. Oh, oh, very good. Very you know what? Good. That'd be great because I reckon they'd have to give me an extra show in the Pleasant Grand. And you just and you don't go, and people just sit in the silence and remember. Oh you. God, that is so amazing to have your added show in like a big room be yes. your memorial service. Yes, mm. I would smash that gig. Can I lead it? Mm. No, it's not, no, 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 it's my memorial service. Yeah, but I can lead the moment of silence. No, I would like um <laughs> no, my, I would oh like a my more god. famous comedian. No, I know I know what I want. Not you. It's gonna be the Got musical it. of making a murderer. One of the two musicals about <laughs> making a murderer Stunning. that's happening Stunning. at the Fringes Year. Stunning. This festival's fucked. Huh? I love it's it. Weird. I am so <laughs> in love with it. 
<laughs> Anyone can come here. That's just a fact. It's like when you oh, it's but they don't know that everywhere. Don't say that because when I like started in Germany and then I went back once to like warm up for my first hour at Fringe, and I was like, I'm going to Edinburgh Fringe, and the whole like crowd applauded me like I'd like done something really good. Oh, you like, feel in a going form. to Fringe, and I was like, I'm in the free Fringe. <laughs> it is. I when I would do the festival as a younger person, I would be very, very down early on. I used to do this thing, and this is so toxic. <laughs> I would search, oh I would go on the Fringe website yeah. and I would search in the browse shows area the word cancelled. And then I would just scroll through the graveyard of people that had to cancel their runs before the show started. No! What? Is that even an option of search? Is that a thing you I'm, can still do? You can still do that. What did that give you? I mean, I know it would give me, but what did that give you? It gave me like... Well, at least I got here. Like, you know, because, <laughs> like, sometimes, because it's the most so, like, open. He's in. Um, because it's Andrew, the most. Andrew, are you searching this right now? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, so it's like people who, like, maybe, they're, maybe they lost a parent or maybe they ran well, out of money. No, not so much that. I mean, sometimes the most disappointing thing is you look at it, it's a very famous person. It's because they got a big job or something. You're like, shit, this oh, okay, is what I came no here good. for. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> sometimes it's like, uh, you, because it is the most open festival in the world. It'll be like, you know, there's those venues that are like two miles away and anyone yeah. can, and it'll be like, Susan's giving it a go. And it's just like <laughs> a lady who's trying stand up for the first time yes. and she's just gone through a divorce. Oh, yes, Susan. Susan. And about a week Susan. before, finally one of her stepkids has gone, don't do this, Susan. This is a terrible <laughs> idea. We Google mapped it, Susan. Yeah, it's not even, an, it's in Glasgow, Susan. <laughs> no, I'll fly <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I would go to that yeah. show. Oh, that I would be so susceptible to that flyer. Yeah. The, the saddest Please ones are, are school groups, though. Sometimes there's like a school group and like, oh, the funding fell through. Oh, oh wait, no. it's not bowel cancer. Yeah, not Imagine yeah, the whole year group. Got bowel cancer. Fucking oh. hell, they'd sell out, wouldn't they? Bloody Jesus hell. Christ. Kids with it. Jesus Christ. I Please. hope that bit stays in, but the earlier bit gets cut out. So out of <laughs> nowhere, you just world, brought up bowel cancer. That would be the clip. <laughs> with no, no reference. Just like kids with bowel cancer. They'll sell fucking everything out, won't they? <laughs> the resentment in your voice is insane. <laughs> It's like insane. Um, please tell us, what do you do to stay sane here? What do I do? I like, I mean, there's the basic ones like routine. Like, I just, oh, do you know this? And the this is in recent years. The bougiest thing my partner Karen and I do is that we join, there's a gym called One Spa, no spawn. I go there um, on my day off. It's so fancy. So, well, so they do for 150 pounds, you get the whole month. Whoa. And you can go in and you like. Can you use the spa anytime? Yeah. Fuck off. 150 pounds. Fuck off. Why yeah. am I paying that for a day? Yeah. Like a freaking pleb. What am I doing? And so you go, it's like, Sorry, this, this it's about got you. like hot, it's got hot spa. It's got about four different saunas. All kinds of I different. Don't, I don't understand it. There's so many different types of shower as well. Yeah. I, I really, the, I outdoor, the outdoor pool oh bed is amazing. Gosh. It's like this kind of Roof alfresco. Top. Don't look at me. You guys are fucking spa. morons. I don't know. Right. Number one. You're going there, amazing. But then you're all fucking talking about it and telling other people about it. And soon enough, you're going to find yourself bathing with like 200 open micers. I think you're fucking thick as shit. Hey, oh, yeah, look. fair enough. Can we, 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 we bleep out the name of the spa, please? <laughs> we're, all, we're all just comedians in the sauna. Are you now going to go beep out the name of the spa? Yeah. <laughs> the, I do, um, there is something, there's, it, when you, if you do see other comics there, there is this weird understanding, though, that no one talks. I agree. There's really? this kind of oh, like... hundred percent. It's like seeing each other at a sex on premises venue or something. It's like yes. no one can know. No speaking. Can I no go? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but don't nah. talk to us. I want to fucking chat. <laughs> don't talk to us. <laughs> I've got to go for my wellness. <laughs> but there's a... Like, I go for, like, a little run, just enough to deal with the crepes that I eat at night. Yeah, And then sure. I go for a steam. And, that, like, it sounds so bougie, but it's just... No, life. I think it's great. I think when you get to a point that you can afford that, you should take care of yourself. Of course, that's good. I just feel better because there's a million, like people, there's We're so old many now. late that's shows. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Do you, do you got to do? It's similar. I'm doing a fruba day. Do you know a fruba? <laughs> do you know what they are? It's like a yogurt. Oh, it's, yeah. But it comes in like a, a you might know it as a yo to go, like the kangaroo yeah, yeah. pouch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's like, like a, people, primary school people have yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, and adults. And then oh, yeah, yeah. you okay. basically put your finger at the end of it, you just go, like, fucking yogurt, like, and it's, like, spunk, and then you yeah. do catch it in your mouth. And okay. I'm doing one of those every day, and it's been fucking amazing. Okay. Yeah. And so but similar is what I'm saying. I'm just so saying, like, I understand. So you're very horny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, um, yeah, and it's got a nice strawberry aftertaste. 
Oh, like, a, okay. I'm just, I thought we were asking everyone what they were doing to stay sane at French. Yep. Yeah. So what on you, that. What are, you, um, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a thing a day. Oh, I'm doing this thing called a hashtag mental fringe where I try to do something. Oh, yeah, no, I thought it was yeah. yeah, I'm trying. And actually, it's been really nice because it's reminded me that there's something outside the show every day. It makes mm-hmm. me think about something else. Em and I actually joined a local um, group called Sink or Swim at the beach yesterday. And we went in with them in the, in the ocean. Why not just call it Swim? I know that's what I said. That's what I said. I was like, what an intense name. Why give so it, I'm going to give it an option. I know. Dead or alive. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Honestly, we were like, okay. Uh, and I asked the name just before we went into the water and I was like, oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> but they were so inclusive and so welcoming and nice to us. And um, we went in the sea and it woke us the hell up. And it was swimming, good. swimming is, is uh, and this is such like, we're in our 30s. No, I know for sure. Swimming is such like a mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, it really helps. It, it really helps the old brain. Everyone mm-hmm. seems to realize that at about 32, I yeah. reckon everyone's like, oh, swimming. Like, it, it fixed it riders' feels block. It's weightless. Fix- it's good. Yeah, Your it's boobs nice. flow. And it's just mm-hmm. magical. Well, we don't have any of that. But I do understand what you're saying. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it was amazing. And, um... I've been on a 10k with an 8k with Chloe Pets. I've been on um, to, the, to the gym with Ruby at Chloe from uh, from Shelf. I've been what have clang, I, what else? Clang, 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 clang. What else? Oh, we went, we, went, run. we got free donuts. I consider it. Oh my god, they're incredible. Oh Go there god. by summer. Hall. We've yeah, I've been doing I've been doing stuff. Um, but seeing shows. Oh my god! I've I know seen you're so trying to move shows. on. Constantly. No, I've seen so many great shows, and I never see shows that I'm making like a, a an effort. This I saw Pia Novelli the other day. It was one of the greatest <gasps> shows I've seen in my he's life. He's so good. So he's many so jokes. good at stand up. He's so good at stand up. And I had to do my show. I hate not long that. After. I hate that. That's how I saw Helen's, and I was like, for fuck's sake! Mm. No, it's very good. No. It's very good. I spent when Catherine was in, she laughed or like reference something in the audience and I was like oh who said that and it was Catherine and then I spent the next six minutes in an Irish accent just out of panic yeah it was a fucking disaster it was amazing thank you for coming it was amazing (laughs) there is a a thing that happens if you see a show before your show the risk is that you accidentally be that person a little bit oh that's interesting oh we've all seen people who've watched too much of one person oh yeah no I know what you mean like I do know you, you pick up the energy I remember like uh so this, an Australian comedian called Anne Edmonds, who is we know her, having, yeah, having a baby, had a baby with she Lord Langford. Um, mm. The hi Gwen, uh, I saw her <laughs> once. Big listener, Gwen. Um, Our youngest hog. She uh, <laughs> Anne calls her that too. Um, <laughs> Anne Edmonds, she's like got this particular energy where like, and my whole show after I saw, her, I was just like screaming, like she's just got this like. <laughs> Yeah, there's no end to this story. I'm realizing I lost steam. <laughs> <laughs> but we shared it out, Gwen, and that's the main thing. We've lost steam. What do we do when we lose steam, Andrew? We solve a listener problem. <laughs> solve a listener problem. <laughs> Let's get some momentum going again. Let's hear it. I'm gonna, uh, steal your oh. microphone. Sorry. Sorry, Catherine. Another woman's silence. <laughs> <laughs> For the greater good, though. <laughs> For the greater good. It's Go a short on. problem, so I'll, I'll swing it back around to you very quickly. Uh, this is from Jay. Uh, Hi, Jay. Uh, Jay said... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, usually both I Catherine and I say, Hi, Jay. <laughs> I'm aware that how that happened, I look like a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jay. Hi, Jay! <laughs> Can I just very quickly... I'm I'm a, I'm a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under, and there's yes. a new season out at the moment. Yes. And a lot of drag queens blame the edit on that show. I'd like to blame the edit. They keep cutting to me <laughs> looking like I have a severe head injury. <laughs> like, they keep... Every shot of me is just me going like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just watched the first episode last night and yeah. it is you true. You can verify you that's like true. That is true. You look like you won a competition to be there. Yeah. Like, there's a point where I'm in the first episode <laughs> bouncing on the chair during the lip sync that looks like, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely like a radio quiz that I won to get through. <laughs> bouncing on the chair. Yeah, I really want, And because I'm the only one that, like, Rue and Michelle have been doing this show for obviously a million years. And I just stand there, just, they look at me like, just settle down, <laughs> keep your cool. Okay, Anyways. can you keep your cool, but after we redo the hi, Jay, and I want you to go, hi, Jay! Yeah, okay. Sure. okay, let's go. Um, this is from Jay. Hi, hi Jay! Jay! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Jay says, uh, my eldest daughter, 17, has just had her heart broken for the first time. No. As her dad, I want to be there for her and not make things worse by saying slash doing the wrong thing. No. She's off to university in September to the same town as said young man who she still has feelings for. What advice should I give her so she isn't hurt slash used by the lad? And any general advice on how to broach the subject so it isn't all cringe? Much obliged, Jay. Is it too weird to do a call back to the early episode and tell her to oh. fake a terminal illness so he feels bad and gets back with her? Mm. That's or, not great advice, Helen. It's okay, but it's an option. Or, <laughs> as a dad, you got to kill that man. Yes! <laughs> Healthy, nice, mm. healthy, healthy, healthy. Um, first of all, Jay, I love I you for writing in and asking this question. It's so sweet. Um, I look, in a way, there's nothing right or wrong you can do. Like, I think, like, you, you can't fix it. You just have to be no, there for it, which is the worst. It's the worst thing when you can't fix it because you want to so desperately. Mm -hmm. But also, I think you evidently care loads, so I imagine that's helping already. Um. My advice would be treat her better than that man did so that when she spends the summer being treated well, she'll be like, I don't, I'm not going to go back to being treated badly. And by that, I mean, like, take her out to do things that she actually likes to do. Yeah. Um, remind her that she has a whole life, like encourage her to invite her friends over. Remind her that she has a whole life that is not him. Really? Do you not think it's best if like Jay fakes a letter from university saying like, you've lost your place. Turns out you're too thick. What? So no. that she can't go I mean, that I'm year. In, I'm in two camps here. So she can't I, I go that year. year. <laughs> so then this guy goes to university and then she gets to restart her life. No, but I think like part she of- She'll be a blow. <laughs> It'd be a blow for the young lass, mm -hmm. granted. She's had her heart broken for the first time. Then the university says, turns out you're too thick. Obviously that's gutting. Does that have to be the wording? Well, I, I, never, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't go to university. I don't have the right letters. <laughs> Here's Sorry you didn't get your your letters that you needed, your grades. Here's what I would say is, the first time I had my heart broken by a boy, I um, was devastated yeah. to the point that um, I used to cry so much at night that my mom for two weeks slept on the floor of my bed. Oh <gasps> my you telling God. Me this? I would weep, like howl through the night. Like just absolutely, I was, I've never felt pain like it. I don't think I've felt it since. Like I really, God. truly, it was like someone had died. I was so, mm -hmm. and the reason for that is, I was so fucking grateful when he started dating me because no one had ever shown me any interest. Yeah. He was my first kiss. He mm -hmm. was my first sexual experience. He was my first boyfriend. And honestly, I was like, this is the only person who's ever going to find me beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is all that love ever will be. Yeah. And my mom <laughs> stayed with me the whole time. And that really, honestly, truly, her just being there all the time, she made sure all my favorite food was in. And, and oh, but you got fat. Oh no, I didn't. I couldn't eat anything. I was so oh. sad. I was so sad. But she really tried. And oh my god, my dad That's would so incredible. My dad would bring me flowers, which I think just like <sighs> stuff that it was important for you to remember that like you can get that from other people. And I honestly, I I did try to get like I tried to get back with him. I would occasionally like go around and like beg because he used to live around the corner. Preach. And every time my mom and dad would be like, we know where you were, obviously. Um. <laughs> But like they would talk through what the best outcome was, like if he did take me back, how I would actually feel if that re like. Oh my it's god! Such, it's such big feel. Like I remember. Oh god, it's horrific. Like I didn't have. I kissed a bunch of boys, but didn't really have like relationship -y things. And I, but yeah, like or, or remember like just unrequited. Like oh, I don't yeah. reckon since I've had. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's so much more Helen, intense please, please then. Helen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a boyfriend. <laughs> but but I, I think it softens as you get older. Like the feeling, because I think it's hormones, right? And it's yeah. like, because you're just so horny, but you don't know what sex is. Yep. And yep. like, it's just this weird. I And that's so nice. That pure, I, I, my advice to just Jay specifically about, is just be prepared also for um, for you to do everything you can and for that to be thrown very hardcore back in your yes. face. <laughs> but don't yes. take, you know what I mean? But like yeah. you've really got to go in here with a full heart and not expect anything back from your yeah. child. Could I do... I take it personally when yeah. they are cruel to you because, because I was, the world has ruined their perfect vision of like goodness. I was awful to my. I was one of those kids that was so mean to my parents, oh. and so and I think back to it, and Me I too. still. Do you ever do that? I think we were talking about this the other day, like yeah. accident, so accidentally cruel to my parents all the time, and purely because 
I'm like, I, maybe I'm existentially angry at them for bringing me into the world. Yeah, maybe it's, it's like, like, you nice. did this. Yeah. Good yeah. anger. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. anger. Why'd you put me here? I didn't ask to be born. Why wasn't I born in the 70s? Yeah. <laughs> the best time for gay men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so doing the math, that would have been a bad Can I do a bad throw this? Okay, okay, all right. Uh, the 50s? Yes. <laughs> at least I could have had like a fun secret life. And a nice wife. Yay. Yay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the 50s would be amazing. I would have thrived. Um, can I talk directly to Jay's daughter? Because mm. I think, uh, number one, amazing parents, like incredible. I've had my heart. Yeah, <laughs> can I speak directly to Jay's daughter? <laughs> as far as I see it, you've got a couple of options. Let's not rule out pregnancy scare. Let's not. <laughs> it really drags people back in. Okay, let's not rule out a fake illness, fake family illness. Let's also not rule out your accommodation falling through on your first day of university and having to move in with them. So you're there all the time, the being there strategy. People call it stalking, but it's not, it's being there. Have you considered swapping your course you're studying to be on the right course as no, him? No, be no. desperate, be forceful, no. make it work. No, make him feel guilty. Has anyone ever called you to like the angel and the devil on someone's shoulder? <laughs> like, it's no, but it checks real. out. It checks but out. But I have wings. <laughs> <laughs> but I think these are all like, like completely on her valid options. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she seems like a tampon girl to me. She does. You seem like a self application, like no applicator tampon girl. Is that <laughs> but oh, I've had a moon cup, cup since moon I cup. was 18. That's right. You're a moon cup girl. That's a long time to have a moon cup. Just to rewind to Jay. Cheers to that. Cheers. But I do have a tampon in right now because I'm on the last day and it's the brown dregs. And it's oh like, my God, who's right? filling up a cup no. with that? The brown dregs. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? The, the brown dregs. To Jay's daughter. May she go over her heartbreak and have um, wonderful fake pregnancy scares. Can we say scares. one last thing to, about Jay, which is that, like, I think. Um, I think you have to accept that she's going to try to get back with him but that the world will kick her in the face a few times nice. I know that sounds yeah. really bad but like I think to be honest with you it's being willing to have the conversation of the pain call, like being called about the pain as if it's all happened all over again mm -hmm. in October November December yeah. because I think that's the thing like right now it's fresh but also She's going to hold out hope, whether you want her to or not. And like having that conversation, like it's still not boring you by then, I think is fundamental. Oh, and yeah. And never tell, like ne never say get over it. No, no. no. My mum said on the no. plus side, you'll lose weight. <laughs> Don't say that either. Similar experience. Don't say that either. <laughs> I would encourage her to, like, when she's ready, do like group activities in university, like join a team or whatever she can. That means she yeah. has friends that are like. Softball, maybe she'll end up being queer. Oh my God, we can, but dream hockey also applies in this country. Yes, please. Mm. Uh, you got options, you got options. But hey, mainly Jay, I think if you took the time to write to us girl. loons about your daughter, you're doing good. The fact that you're listening to this podcast. I know, you're such a nice bird, that's fine. Seriously, dads are though. listening. I dads know, are listening. Dads are listening. Hey, dads. Hi, dad. That's Kate, daddy. That's Hi, crazy. dad. Hi. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, our dad's aren't no, 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 no! Please don't, please don't. Um, it so was yeah. my dad's seventieth birthday yesterday. I called him and he didn't answer. And I went, "I'm just trying to call to say happy birthday." And he went, "Thank you." <laughs> like, and just a reminder, we should all go see the brown dregs at Pleasant this year. Yes, yes. Such a <laughs> Can I tell you? I think I said this off air, but um, I just got my coil removed for the first time in ten mm -hmm. years. Well, I had two. Don't worry, I didn't leave it in there for ten years. The coil, the arm thing. No, no, I love you so much. It's it's the womb thing. Oh, and so the I, womb thing. The womb thing. If it's you like, watch Teen Mum OG, the first two seasons, they explain everything it's a cervix really nicely. Thing. So I had it taken out. So I haven't had a period in. 10 years. So now I'm waiting for one and I feel like a teenager. Like it's why I'm waiting for my first period. But every oh. time Helen talks about it, it seems terrifying. Like I'm very anxious. I'm thriving with mine. I just, I'm, yeah, arguably I think I've got a bigger womb lining than you. So I'm losing a lot more. Did you, I don't did think you, your womb is bigger than mine. I'm a bigger lass. I don't think that's how. I'm six foot one. I don't think that's how. My womb is large. Okay. Okay. Right. She's mostly womb. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a tip? Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> womb. <laughs> Fascinating. Did, did, even though you didn't get your period, did you still get? And this is just for our listeners, like Jay, to learn. Uh, did you still get the emotional effects of a period? Yeah, I think yeah, you, you, still have the, you still have the hormonal trajectories Jesus that you would have of any oh, month. Wow. But yeah, um, I think, I think, oh my God. No, I, there's you did. probably some doctors fucking listening and being like, that's wrong. But I think that's right. I think that's having spoken to my gynae, that is correct. Um, gynae. My gynae. Yes, thank God for gynaes, by the way. I, had, um, I don't have a gynae. Are we supposed to have a gynae? Uh, I don't know, but mine 
well, I had to have one because there was a problem with yeah, mine. For the, yeah, uh, yeah. I, anyway, the point is, I had to go in for like an emergency removal, mm-hmm. and this, and um, I was going in for an ultra. They had to do like ultrasounds and all that jazz. But how boring! I was in a lot of pain. Did you find out the gender? Uh, yeah, it was a fucking little bitch. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> but before she went in, this like older Indian woman just goes. Someone couldn't find this last time, and I was like, "No, no one can," because it had moved. Yeah, and she was like, "I've got magic fingers." And I was like, Love her. "Oh my oh god, my this god. is." Uh, I'm now confused. Yeah. I'm confused. Lighting up a cigarette afterwards. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> was, then when she took it out, did not expect this. She held it up like to my face and was like, "There it is." <gasps> and I was like, "No, I don't like it. I don't like did it." Did you not keep it? No, you did didn't. I no, I know no, you I didn't. didn't even want to look at it. I was like, Jesus. Is get it actually that away. in a coil? Oh no! Oh my God! So much to learn. It's like a tea bar. Oh so, the, yeah. Okay. I knew yeah. about the arm ones. Yeah. What do you know about them? IUD. They, IUD. Yeah. Yeah. What do you know about? I them? I think they used them in the Iraq War. <laughs> <laughs> That's IUD, but I did the exact same Google a couple of years ago. That's fucking mad. That's an it's improvised funny jokes. Funny jokes. <laughs> improvised explosive device, and they put it in lunch boxes. I but know. It, it's like it's a oh slow God. release, right? Of things. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. is that what it does? Yeah, where you Whereas that seems person. more of a block thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a plug. Yeah. I use condoms and I pin them for attention. <laughs> <laughs> and that's more advice for Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Have another daughter start again. Yes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Get one they won't leave, Jay. Get one they won't leave. Actually, fuck Always it. Always having daughters. <laughs> Cut the whole of the rest of the advice. <laughs> that should be it. Start again, new daughter. Let her go. This one's broken Like now. the end of Harry and the Hendersons. You've got to tell her to leave. Jay, no. Jay, no. No, Jay. Oh, my God. Wow. The only person crueler than hell and everybody, it was Ray Snigglesen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thank you so much for I doing our you. podcast. That's all right. Thank you. And hey, Jay, come to my show. Yeah. Or my mind's about being broken up with. Yeah, but Reese, can Mine's you plug about your show? You've got to plug it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, sorry. Of course. Oh, oh yeah. God, of course. Where can people find you? I'm at Underbelly, uh, Ermintrude. It's a lecture theatre. It's yes. going fine. The show's called Reese, Reese, Reese. It's a <laughs> reference to Judy, Judy, Judy. No one is understanding that. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. I thought it was a reference to education, education, education. That Tony Blair speech. Oh mm. yeah, oh. you're right. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's Way a, more that's sense. a strong A to B. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I uh, love your poster. I see it everywhere the bright orange yeah it's, it's fucking like, gorgeous thank it is. you and also reese's shows are always amazing mm-hmm. i i go every year with my friend georgie Aww. we um I, I you have some of my favorite like you're an incredible routine writer i genuinely quote your one about mothers keeping teeth far too oh, often yeah. thank you. um you'll have a great time it's yeah. just always a good vibe and um and so they can find you there what time is your show 8 25 one of those weird Lovely free- in your calendars. and Holy. also where can they find you online Oh, it's just uh, on Instagram, Reese Nicholson. Um, Reese Nicholson dot com dot au. Oh, no one's going there. Come on, don't be silly. No, All right. Well, but Instagram, Instagram yep, it is. Yeah. Yep. I will go there because I would like to come to Australia and see the people with the flies. <laughs> <laughs> what? The opal? No, there's a town where they if they stand outside, a fly lands on their face. What? Yeah, there's heaps of flies in Australia. Like yeah, heaps. but there's a town. It's called Cooper PD. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah is yeah. it really called that, Reese? Yeah. Yes, yeah, and I want to go ride. there. Wow. I want to go there and Humpty Doo. Oh my God. I don't know if Humpty Doo is a thing. It is. It's in the <laughs> Northern Territories. Did you research Australia for this? No, interview? I watched a reality show with a there lot of weirdos on it. There it is. That's did, our girl. When I was on the bus on the way here, you did follow me on Twitter and I was like, oh, bit of research. <laughs> 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 Come on, do it the night before. Jesus Christ. Just, I was imagining this frantically <laughs> scrolling. Like, shut who, up, shut up. Who is this? <laughs> what do they do? Fuck's <laughs> sake, Helen. We've gigged together before. Yeah. Stand yeah, yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and you follow like, them. We can't talk about this on here, but you actually like fucking saved me that oh, day. Did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know the story, but we'll do it after this. Okay, okay. Everybody, one oh, more yeah. time for Reese oh, Nicholson. Yeah. Check hey. them out. Hey. Hey. Maybe follow them on Twitter. Jesus. Yeah, but Twitter, it's, it's a bin fire. It is. You're right. You're right.